As technology continues to push the boundaries of space exploration and societal progress, it's no surprise that visionaries are harnessing these advancements to enrich human experiences. Enter the realm of female pleasure robots and humanoids designed not just for functional tasks like hospitality and food service, but also for entertainment. With scientists at the forefront of groundbreaking research, we are on the verge of a new era. These sophisticated creations are poised to redefine our interactions with technology, paving the way for a future where innovation seamlessly integrates into everyday life in ways previously unimaginable. Whether you're new to our channel or a seasoned viewer, get ready for a deep dive into the cutting-edge world of robots, AI, and future technology. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest robot adventures. Now let's delve into the fascinating origins. Cast your mind back to 1495 when Leonardo da Vinci conceived one of history's earliest humanoids, an ingenious suit of armor that could sit, stand, and walk with uncanny realism, almost as if inhabited by a living person. Fast forward to the 21st century, and what was once merely the stuff of science fiction has seamlessly integrated into our daily reality. The journey to lifelike androids began in Korea and Japan, where pioneering researchers embarked on creating robots that blur the line between machine and humanity. Initially fashioned with feminine forms, but programmed with the fluidity of masculine movement patterns, these humanoid marvels employ sophisticated sensors and actuators to replicate human gestures, communication, and tasks. Humanoid robots are a fascinating intersection of robotics and human-like form, designed to mimic human capabilities and interactions in various ways. While traditionally thought to encompass robots with a head, torso, arms and legs, the definition of humanoid extends beyond strict anatomical replication. Some humanoids deviate from this conventional design, focusing on specific human characteristics like facial features or motor functions rather than full body replication. These robots are equipped with sophisticated sensors that enable them to perceive and interact with their surroundings. Sensors play a crucial role in allowing humanoids to navigate environments, detect obstacles, and respond to stimuli, enhancing their utility in diverse applications. Beyond physical appearance, humanoids are distinguished by their ability to perform tasks autonomously or under human guidance, depending on their programming and capabilities. Androids, a subset of humanoids, are specifically crafted to resemble male humans, often with an emphasis on masculine features and movement patterns. Conversely, gynoids are designed to emulate female humans, incorporating feminine characteristics into their design and functionality. The terminology used to differentiate between male and female robots, such as gynoid and fembot, reflects the evolving field of humanoid robotics and its applications in both technical innovation and societal contexts. The term gynoid emerged from Gwyneth Jones' novel Divine Endurance in 1985, depicting a robot characterized by its feminine appearance and function. In contrast, Fembot gained popularity through the 70s television series The Bionic Woman. Recent research suggests that society perceives male robots and men more negatively in terms of subtle measures of humanness, whereas female robots and women are generally seen as more human across a broader spectrum of traits both subtle and overt. This perception might explain the preference for female intelligent machines in some contexts, as they are often perceived as more connected to human qualities. Among the notable gynoid robots, Ever One made a significant impact when she debuted at the International Robot Exhibition in Tokyo in 2003. Costing $321,000, Ever One's design drew inspiration from two prominent Korean actresses and a singer although their identities remain undisclosed. Capable of mimicking human emotions such as joy, sadness, anger, and surprise, Everyone could articulate responses in both Korean and English, utilizing 400 words. She featured 15 different facial expressions, enhancing her ability to interact convincingly. Ever2, her successor unveiled at Robot World 2006 in Seoul, brought minor enhancements to her capabilities cementing her place in the evolution of gynoid technology. Actroid, a gynoid designed to resemble typical young Japanese women, made its debut in 2004, developed by Japanese scientists. Following Actroid, Reply R1 was crafted to appear as her younger five-year-old Japanese sister. 
Actroid was first showcased at Expo 2005 in Aichi, Japan, where its primary functions included aiding visitors by providing information about specific venues and activities. Echo, introduced in 2009, garnered attention for its ability to respond to physical stimuli and simulate pain, as reported by the Daily Mail. Designed to assist amputees with lifelike artificial limbs, Echo draws inspiration from Japanese animation, notably the series Chobits from 2002, which prominently features a gynoid character. Notably, Echo's on-off switch is discreetly located in her crotch area. In 2014, Japan saw the creation of the Commodoroid TV presenter, named after the Japanese word for Commodore and Android. This advanced humanoid is multilingual and proficient in delivering real-time news broadcasts and weather forecasts. Currently employed at the Emerging Science and Innovation Museum in Tokyo, Commodoroid represents a significant leap in humanoid technology designed for interactive public engagement. Jia Jia emerged from China's University of Science and Technology in 2016 after three years of development, marking a significant leap in humanoid robotics. Despite her initial limitations in movement and somewhat robotic speech, Jia Jia can hold conversations and is perceived as remarkably lifelike by the public. Ongoing advancements aim to refine her voice, language abilities, and facial expressions, pushing the boundaries of what robots can achieve in human interaction. The year 2021 saw the introduction of Shalu, India's pioneering female humanoid robot developed by Dinesh Patel, a computer science educator at Kendriya Vidyalaya the 2T Bombay. Shalu represents a blend of artificial intelligence and machine learning, enabling her to communicate fluently in 47 languages, encompassing both Indian dialects and international tongues. Beyond linguistic capabilities, Shalu employs advanced face and object recognition technologies, enabling her to identify individuals and objects, thereby setting new standards for humanoid robots in India and beyond. Sophia, unveiled at the United Nations on October 11, 2017, made headlines by becoming the first humanoid robot granted Saudi Arabian citizenship. Created by Hansen Robotics, Sophia is celebrated for her extensive range of human-like skills, including over 50 facial expressions and the ability to convey emotions effectively. With a striking resemblance to Audrey Hepburn, Sophia has since been equipped with functional legs, enabling her to walk and further blurring the lines between science fiction and reality. Her ability to mimic over 60 facial expressions and her lifelike skin have garnered widespread admiration, demonstrating her prowess in engaging with humans on a deeply emotive level. In a nod to early computer software like Eliza, Sophia operates akin to a sophisticated chatbot capable of generating responses that give the impression of understanding human dialogue. This capability enhances Sophia's conversational prowess, allowing her to interact intelligently across a variety of settings and topics. The concept of crafting an ideal woman through artificial means is not novel. It's a trope deeply embedded in science fiction. Characters like Gigolo Joe from AI Artificial Intelligence and Pris from Blade Runner exemplify how androids and gynoids have been portrayed as sexual commodities. This portrayal extends into reality, where artists like Matt McMullen have made significant strides in the erotica industry with lifelike love dolls. Starting as a sculptor of female figures, McMullen now heads Real Doll, a company specializing in posable mannequins that evolved into hyper-realistic sex dolls due to market demand. According to McMullen, the goal is not merely physical stimulation, but also emotional and intellectual engagement. He emphasizes creating an experience where the doll appears to derive enjoyment from the interaction, transcending mere physicality. As these technologies advance, the question arises whether real dolls will enter the uncanny valley, a term describing humanoid objects that appear almost human but elicit a sense of unease or revulsion. McMullen asserts that maintaining a clear distinction between his dolls and real humans is crucial. Even the most realistic real dolls are designed to retain a doll-like appearance. This technological evolution explores the boundary between human and machine, probing the core aspects of artificial intelligence's gendering and its implications. Some argue that gendering AI objects as female makes them more relatable and adept at meeting human emotional needs, given our perception of women as inherently more empathetic. However, such objectification risks reinforcing harmful stereotypes, 
potentially increasing the objectification and dehumanization of women in both digital and physical realms. That's it for today. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, ensure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. Until next time.